Hey everyone, here we have a can of milk from the 50s. This is evaporated milk. A lot of people think evaporated milk means it boiled and the steam was condensed. That is not what this is. Evaporated milk is 60% boiled down. If you want condensed milk, that 60% boiled down then has 45-50% to 50 sugar added that gives it its thickness. So let's see what we have. Guaranteed to be pure, unsweetened, evaporated cow's milk. Notice how there's no area code back in the 50s. It has nice cow graphics on the front of it. And that's about all the container says. Back then there's no barcodes, no nutrition facts, none of that was required. Here in the top, there used to be a tag, but that has been removed at some point. It's got very minor corrosion on here. It's got a slight bulge to the container, so there is some pressure in there. You shake it. Yeah, it's still liquidy in there. Now, I'm wondering, did it do what milk usually does and separate as it, you know, curdles? Well, we'll find out. There's definitely liquid in there, but is there a hard part also? Evaporated milk and condensed milk, because of the boiling process to make them, they have a higher tolerance to curdling and it takes a lot more. Leaving it out unrefrigerated won't do it to this product. So we're going to start opening this thing up now to see exactly what it looks like inside. Again, this is milk and it has a lot of pressure in this can because of the bloating. So I'm concerned that it's going to spray or squirt pretty far. So I'm going to put on some safety glasses just in case. And this might be pretty stinky too, so I'm going to put on a mask for this, just in case it does spray. So let's start opening this up. I'm going to start off slowly to release the pressure in this. Okay, that wasn't so bad. I don't smell anything yet. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, everyone, it does not smell as bad as I thought it would be, but it's definitely bad. You know what it smells like to me? It smells like when you make macaroni and cheese. You know how macaroni and cheese smells as soon as you mix it all together and the cheese gets wet? That's what it smells like. It smells like macaroni and cheese, and that is not a normal smell for this. That is actually kind of gross. This is starting to smell. This is starting to stink up the room now. Imagine what it's going to be like when I pour it out. Okay, I have a microscope slide here that I want to put a little drop on because we're going to take a look at this under a microscope. All you need is one tiny, tiny little drop like that. That is all you need to look at this. I'm going to get my cover slip on there. Try to spread that out a little bit. Because this milk is a lot darker than it's supposed to be. Because it's almost a yellowish brown. I'm taking out my cover slip, being very careful not to touch the part that I'll be viewing. And we're also going to take a drop of regular fresh milk so we can compare them. Okay, that is good. I want to give that a little push on the sides to make sure it spreads out thin enough to look through it. We'll take a look at that at the end of the video. Oh, that smells so bad. Oh, look at the bottom of that. Let's look at the top of the can. Look at those big chunks. Oh, that is gross. Can I get the big chunks out of there? Oh, look at that. They're hard. Look at that stuff. That is so gross. Oh, yuck, that is nasty. 
That is some nasty stuff. This is the 60 year old milk under the microscope at 100 times. This is the milk at 250 times. It's very possible that the things you're seeing right there might be bacteria cells. The bigger things you're seeing are air bubbles trapped under the slides. All the really small things you're seeing are fat cells. Now I'm going up again. This is 1,000 times. Once again, you can really start to see the fat cells. Now you can see everything starting to move around with the current in the slide. Those are all fat cells moving around. Now we're going to go up again. This is 2,500 times. It's kind of hard to focus in at such a high level, but you can start to see the picture now. Those are all fat cells from the milk. I'm going to show you what regular milk looks like under here so you can compare. It does not look too much different, except the color is a little different. What you're looking at now is brand new Friendly Farms milk from Walmart. This is 100 times. You can see already the fat cells are much smaller. Everything is much smaller because it's not rotten. Now we're going up again to 250 times. This is what the milk looks like. If you look really carefully, it is moving around. I'm switching the focus slightly because at different focuses you can see some different things at different levels in the milk. Now I'm going to go up to 1,000 times. This is the milk under 1,000 times. You can really see the fat cells now as they're slowly bumping around. We're going to take this up another notch. 2,500 times. What you're seeing now is 2,500 times the milk. There we go. 